Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and I'm one of the contributing editors over at Book Riot. So this past weekend was my friend's birthday and one of the things she wanted to do for her birthday was to go watch the movie Five Feet Apart. This isn't going to be a movie review obviously because that is a different video for a different channel, but uh, at the end of the movie we were all talking about it and like everyone in my friend group like cried a whole lot and really enjoyed it and they were all like oh did you cry and I said no and uh, they asked me if I liked the movie and I was like yeah it's okay and one of my friends made the comment of like oh but you don't really like romantic movies and I'm like that's not true I actually really like romantic movies and romantic storylines but it's but I'm very like picky about them. One of the things I didn't like about the movie Five Feet Apart or one of the reasons why I didn't love it as much as everyone else seemed to is the fact that it like moves so fast like it feels like they meet and they instantly fall in love. The instant love phenomenon if you will and I just like can't relate to that I suppose or like get on board with that. Like my favorite love stories are the ones that are slightly more slow moving where you get to see the characters get to know each other and become friends and then fall in love with each other. And it's really funny because the same day that I went to go see Five Feet Apart is the same day that I started reading Half a Lifelong Romance by Aline Chang. I I'm only about 100 pages into this book so I'm not completely done yet and I know that this isn't like a happily ever after romance or at least I'm pretty sure it's not but it was really interesting to start reading this book on the same day that I went to go see that movie because this is everything that I actually like in a romance for the most part. Again caveats about I'm not done with this book yet so that something could go terribly wrong in the last two-thirds of this book but one of the things I really enjoy is that the two characters who end up falling in love with each other are friends and colleagues first and you get to see the romance slowly build and part of that also has to do with like the time and the culture of this book. This is set in 1930s Shanghai China. Culturally you know they're not going to be like super forward and even just like based on the time period and things like that. Dating and marriage and all that stuff was handled differently and so you get to see them sort of do that dance of like being unsure if the other person likes them and being unsure of like are they being too forward or not or should they take a chance or not or making the right choices because they know that it'll impact their family and the people around them and things like that and yeah I'm just like really really enjoying this a lot and I find it to be very sweet in a very melancholy way because again I'm pretty sure that the author has already hinted at this is a romance that's not going to last forever but just sort of watching these two characters fall in love with each other is really quite beautiful. And I started to think about just in general other books that have this sort of flavor. It's kind of hard to find because these aren't like straight up romance novels because like I said especially with that one I'm pretty sure it doesn't end with a happily ever after and a lot of times with romance novels you're going into it looking for the more flirty bits or sexy bits or whatever it is you go to romance novels for and so I feel like they're a lot more heavy-handed with all of that stuff and that's not like a knock against it because I like romance novels at times as well and so sometimes that's what you're in the mood for but finding this sort of more subtle I suppose you could say romances or not subtle but like slow moving slow burning I suppose is another term that you could use where you just sort of slowly watch these characters get to know each other is kind of hard to find because a lot of those books are usually not marketed as like having these love stories at least not to me like obviously half a lifelong romance markets that it has a romance but it's seen as more like a literary book more than a romance which more has to do with like the way that people incorrectly uh, judge romance novels. But another book that I thought of that kind of falls into the same lines is To the Bright Edge of the World by Ewan Ivey. Actually I think both of Ewan Ivey's books would kind of fall into this category because in uh, the center of both of her books, The Snow Child being her other book if you aren't aware, are these married couples. And so in this one it's a, like a newly married couple who are forced to get to know each other over long distance as the husband is sent to Alaska and the wife is forced to stay home. Um, and so you get to see their letters to each other, their diary entries to each other and get to watch them sort of like fall in love slowly over time. In The Snow Child it's a little bit different because it's a couple that has been married for a very long time but the situation that they go through kind of like forces them to make some difficult choices and you again kind of see the tensions rise but you get to watch them fall in love with each other kind of all over again. I like this one better just because the marriage is more at the center of the story than in The Snow Child and again since they're sort of like a newlywed couple you get to see them really get to know each other and they do it in like a new and interesting way or at least 
new and interesting for me because it's all done through like letters and things like that and it feels very like old school romantic and I feel like again it's harder to find romances like that that are more modern because all of the books I've mentioned here are historical fiction. Like the only other books I could think of that sort of fall into this are Jane Austen's books especially like Pride and Prejudice and Persuasion especially. They're very quiet and slightly more reserved in the love story. Well I shouldn't say that about Pride and Prejudice but you know just because of the cultural aspects of it it's more reserved than what we're used to in modern society. But I actually like really really like that a lot. So if you have any good recommendations for other sort of slow moving slow burning romances books that are maybe like historical fiction or just general fiction um, that have a romantic element to them but it's not marketed as like a standard romance um, and it doesn't even have to be a happily ever after in my opinion it's really just about watching two characters get to know each other that I really enjoy. Let me know down in the comments below. Um, so yeah that's all I have for this week and I will see you guys next week. Bye!